Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest show on earth. As always, I'm your co-host, Caleb Griffin. I'm your other co-host, Evan Lytle. And man, oh man, do we have a banger of an episode for you today. But before we get into all of that, as always, we have to cue the theme song. Ten on a boat, that we don't own. Ten on a boat, ten on a boat, that we don't own. It's Caleb and Evan and Evan and Caleb. We're on a boat and we don't own it. Ten on a boat, ten on a boat, ten on a boat, that we don't own. Cannot tell you how excited I am for this episode. The new MacBook update finally came out so I can use my iPhone as a webcam and the quality is already just so much better videos for next topic media from here on out are finally going to have somewhat professional grade quality and it's so exciting it's so so exciting um but on top of that Evan you woke up to some banger news this morning as you put it let's hear it what's this banger news Uh, so Henry Cavill announced officially that he's coming back as Superman. Yeah. The trailer for Quantumania dropped. Uh, Danny Pudi is coming back for Avatar. I mean, today has just been a great day for me scrolling yeah. through the news feeds. Disney announced that they might be doing a Silver Surfer. That's uh, crazy. Short like the Werewolf by Night because it was so popular. I mean, it was just it's very exciting. So, it put me in a good mood today. A lot of exciting news in the past week, as you've mentioned. Oh, man. It's just it's a, an exciting time to be a nerd right now. And um, and the crazy thing is, with the MCU not doing so hot, most of the news is coming elsewhere. And it's so, so exciting. Um, mm. First bit of news, though, before we get into, like, the real nerd stuff... I want to kind of hop into some sneaker news because a couple of things happened recently. And as you can see behind me, I'm kind of a sneakerhead. First thing, though, there will be another Spider Man Jordan 1, just like the one from Into the Spider Verse. They did the Jordan 1 Chicago with the little dots that made it look like it was from the movie yeah. animated. They announced they will be dropping another one for Across the Spider Verse. We don't know what it looks like yet. But if they could do another classic Jordan 1 but make it look like a cartoon, that's really hype and something I'd be looking to add to the collection. And then the next bit of sneaker news, Adidas and Kanye are no longer partners. Adidas has terminated their deal. Everybody's everybody's dropping them. Yeah. It's, you know, Kanye is kind of going crazy, but I will say if you happen to have a pair of Yeezys, anybody watching, hang on to them. Because now that they will no longer be making Yeezys at Adidas, they will become very, very, very expensive. Moving on to some nerd news. One of the things you mentioned that has me so excited, for people that don't know, two of my favorite shows of all time, and spoiler alert for Totally Serious Conversations, top 10 TV shows whenever we get that uh, put out, but Community and Avatar The Last Airbender. And to find out that Danny Putty will be playing the mechanic in the Avatar The Last Airbender live action. Even though it's a small role, really only two episodes from the original series that we saw the mechanic in, that is still so exciting to me. And I keep seeing like more people revealed for the cast of The Last Airbender live series. George Takei, dude, he is in this. He's been confirmed for this. Like The cast looks so good, and I know the original creators backed out which kind of made me skeptical about it but i'm so excited for this just seeing this cast so evan your thoughts man what what was your reaction Uh, i I was very hyped my only complaint is that should have been the cabbage man that way we could see him a little bit more i agree my cabbages i think he would fit the role perfectly I agree. Uh, but also, I mean, I'm just very excited to see what this show brings to the table for Avatar, even though it's essentially just telling the same story that the uh, cartoon anime, all of that did. Uh, I'm just excited to see see it live action because I think it's what uh, the, the movie wanted to do, but just failed miserably. 
So absolutely we'll see. failed miserably. miserably. Failed miserably might be an understatement. Like it was awful. But I am excited for this live action. You know, technology has advanced since they try to do a live action movie. So hopefully the effects are better than what it was in that movie. But uh, very exciting news. Um, You mentioned the Silver Surfer possibly getting a special. Dude, Rise of Silver Surfer, one of my favorite of the early 2000 superhero movies. And this is very exciting news. I love the Silver Surfer. And seeing what they could possibly do CGI-wise for a special, very exciting. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I'll still say to this day that that CGI was, I mean, not perfect, but it was like, it still holds up. Yeah, I think absolutely. It still looks clean for, for early 2000s Super Yeah, absolutely. And we'll jump ship into the bigger pieces of news that we got on this episode. First off, the Ant Man trailer, this new one, dropped yesterday. I remember I was studying for an exam, uh, and then I saw that the trailer dropped. I watched it, and I couldn't think about anything else. So I think I failed that exam that I took, but worth it because that trailer looked absolutely incredible. It did. I mean, to see Bill Murray in the MCU. That's insane, um, man. You know, he's just going to be funny. I've never seen him in a serious role. And that's not a bad thing. One of the greatest comedians of all time, I would say. I'd argue that, honestly. Uh, and to see him interact with Scott Lang and Hank Kim. That's amazing. That's going to be hilarious. It's going to be good. Yeah. I think that it's re- we're seeing people like Bill Murray and Harrison Ford coming into the MCU. And the weird thing is, is that most of like the MCU actors that we've seen, they kind of made their name in the MCU probably other than uh, Paul Rudd, who had been famous for a long time, had a bunch of classic roles. Maybe Chris Pratt could go in that argument. But people like, you know, Chris Evans, he had roles before this, but not many people knew him before the MCU. Same with Robert Downey Jr. had a comeback story of the year when he became an Iron Man. Um, Elizabeth Olsen, not many roles before Scarlet Witch. I mean, it's... But in it, Cumberdatch had had some big roles before that. But um, seeing like, I mean, all Crimson's Crimson's worth. Crimson's yeah. Um, but seeing like these huge name actors that have been around for years who people have loved, like Harrison Ford and Bill Murray, it's very exciting. And it's I think it's the right step for the MCU because it's creating more hype for him after a horrific, which it isn't over yet. It could possibly get worse. Hopefully, it'll get better. But Phase Four has not been great. Um. But with that being said, this gets me very excited for the new phase. And Kang looked amazing. Um, he looked so good. Um, my one complaint with the trailer, and this is probably going to be a complaint with the movie. Um, obviously, Cassie was like, I don't understand the timeline with Cassie here. I know they recasted yeah, they, her. They, uh, yeah, they changed the actress. Team. Mm-hmm. Like she, this actress actually looks kind of like what a grown up version. Of the young cast, you would, uh, would I would think she would look kind of like, yeah. So I was like, well, that's not the girl from Endgame, Game, but I don't know if it's still supposed to be the same age or like what's going on there. I'm just confused because, like, in the ep- in uh, not the episode, the what was the name of Ant Man and the Wasp? Uh, she was like, they wanted, I think someone confirmed that she was like 12 in that movie, but she went to a classroom that had show and tell and cubbies. So she wouldn't have been yeah. 12, and five years jumped later, I guess it'd be six at this point when Quantumania comes out. She's like 17, I think is what she's supposed to be. And I'm like, that's that's a big jump uh, from a girl yeah. who had cubbies to now, which that's my one complaint. Also, the Quantum Realm has been hard to figure out for, like, everybody. It took Hank Pym years to figure out a way to get there. How did she find a way to build a communicator with the Quantum Realm at 17? That's one of my things with it, but other than that, it looks amazing, and oh. I am so, so excited. So, so, like, I feel like this is going to be the end of Ant-Man, though, and it scares me. I'll cry because the Ant-Man, Ant-Man and Star-Lord are, like, my two favorite people in the MCU, and I think Star-Lord's also going to die when Guardians 3 comes out. So I'm just like, oh, I don't want it to end. But very, 
very, very excited for this movie. It looks amazing. And God, it just, it, it chilled me. It was bone chilling when I watched the trailer for it the first was. time. And just, I, mean, I, I got goosebumps when Kane came on. I mean, we know what Jonathan Majors looks like. We didn't really know what Kane would look like, but he puts like the helmet on. It's got like the blue. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> this is going to be, oh, oh. Mm. I'm like, this This guy is definitely going to provide more of a challenge than Thanos. Absolutely. I feel I mean, like he has to. Yeah. If he doesn't, then they're doing the character wrong. And But I think he's going to. I mean, he's going to be in three movies. Yeah. I mean, we're seeing him so much earlier. Like, in the Infinity Saga, we didn't see Thanos. We saw him a very tiny bit in Avengers. He had a little bit of a bigger role in... um. Guardians of the Galaxy, but we really didn't see him see him until Infinity War. And I, I like that they're kind of mixing it up. Like, we're already getting the big bad villain here who's supposed yep. to be the next guy we take down. And it's exciting. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the Ant-Man trailer? Uh, I, I, I mean, I think he might die. And I think that's where they're going to kind of, like, throw you off. It's like, it's very colorful. Yeah, it's very like sci-fi like, but it's like that's where they're gonna get you. This is—I don't know that this movie is gonna be happy feels all around, but it's not. You can yeah. tell, man. I mean, I feel like it's gonna start out very goofy, like you know, we saw in the trailer. He got employee of the century at Baskin Robbins, yeah. and which is awesome. I'm glad <laughs> that's one of my favorite things, like from the movie. Like Baskin Robbins always finds out. Um, yeah, it's it's scary, man, and. Louise, like, what if Louise dies? Like, that's oh, also man. a possibility. I would also cry if that happened. But I think Hank would die. I, th- I would honestly, I would think Hank would die before Scott would. But yeah. I wouldn't like to put money on it. So I just don't know. Yeah. Um, you're right. It's oh man. I don't. I'm just. Oh, I'm so excited for this movie. Ant- I love Ant Man so much. Both Ant Man and Ant Man and the Wasp would probably be in my top ten. MCU movies um but anyways moving on a new movie has released in the DC EU and it passed my expectations I would say it was a very solid movie um some problems I had with it for sure but all in all The Rock being a superhero I expected it to not be that great and it was very good Black Adam released last Friday, I want to say. Yes, um the 21st. The 21st, and I saw it yesterday with the rest of the boys, minus JJ, because he doesn't care. But it was it was a fun watch. I think it was funnier than it was supposed to be. Like, the times where they tried to make jokes, they really weren't that funny. But when they weren't making jokes, it was actually funny. And uh, which, depending on how you look at it, that could be a good thing, that could be a bad thing. I actually enjoyed the movie. Um, those are my like general thoughts. We'll get into specifics in a little bit, but Evan, general thoughts on the movie. How did you? Uh, how did you... Oh no, sorry, no. my camera <laughs> fell down. Happens. Uh, I mean, I was, uh, the movie's uh, review for me is no stranger to getting a good review. I've told everyone that I really liked it. Uh, me and my dad went and watched it Saturday, and he he really enjoyed it. We both liked it more than we thought we would. And he was like, man, I turned right back around and watched it again. I was like, wow. And I, I did like it a lot. I think it's a step in the right direction for the new DC. I don't know that yeah. it's like... like they, there was some hype around it being like what DC is about to like supposed to be like. And I don't know that's quite that, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Uh, you know, it's got humor, it's got action, uh, it's got some likable characters, uh, it's got some unlikable characters in, the, in, like, the good way, not acting. I thought all the acting was done well, if not good, you know. Uh, there was there were some parts that I wasn't crazy about, but overall, I, I rated it fairly high for a superhero movie. Yeah. Um, my initial thought after watching it was... It was going to be like a six or possibly a seven, somewhere in that range. Um, I put it in the Peach Crisp 
scoring chart, which Daniel and Caleb will be reviewing the movie, uh, putting out a video soon. Uh, and I got around a six, I got like a 62. Um, probably going to redo it, give it some more thought, see what I get later, because I was kind of just like right after I saw it. But I really do think it was a perfect, not perfect, like in terms of what the DC needed, it was a right step. It is moving the DC yeah. alone to the point to with how bad Marvel has been recently, the DCEU could be passing the MCU in terms of quality because the MC Marvel CGI recently, their effects have not been good. People are leaving. People are quitting. DC, this movie's effects were beautiful. Um, all of it was really good. I do think they did slow motion too much. Um, yeah. In the movie, that was one thing I was like, every time Cyclone, like, was spinning it was slow motion they slow motion like every time black adam used lightning um that was one of my complaints with like the effects and stuff but other than that the effects i thought were done very very well um a couple of problems i had with it uh i did not enjoy the son's acting um i don't get why he needed a skateboard and one of the it wasn't supposed to be funny but one of the times i audibly laughed was when he showed up with the rest of the people to fight all the demons and he was on the skateboard and they were just walking behind him. Yeah. And like, hey mom. And I was like, oh gosh. That was one yeah. of those times I audibly laughed. Um I also audibly laughed when they were fighting all the demons and one of the uh citizens of the town uh got like clotheslined. <laughs> it was yeah. it was yeah. very funny. Uh that made me laugh so hard. But um that was one of my problems with it. I didn't enjoy the son's character a whole lot. Um and I feel like there's going to be a lot of things that when the How It Should Have Ended comes out for this, they're going to be like, this was stupid. And I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, it kind of was. But initially, yeah. I did really like it. Um, I really wish that, honestly, I was satisfied with where the movie would have ended if they would have ended it with Black Adam going underwater. Um, after that, the movie kind of got long for me. Uh, of course, the death of Dr. Fate, spoiler alert for anybody watching but gosh that was heartbreaking because that was my favorite character in that movie by far oh yeah he stole the show he really he did. did i think i think it was colton who said that movie could have been called dr fate like <laughs> instead of black adam because he really did i ah, can't remember the actor's name but he was incredible pierce His, Brosnan. yeah pierce james Brosnan. bond dude. james bond um he really did incredible his suit was done perfectly. Everything about Dr. Fate in that movie was amazing. And um, I hate that he died because I wanted more. I want more Dr. Fate. Like maybe they'll go back and do kind of like an origin or something. I don't know. But it is what it is. And um, it was a good watch. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I think Dr. Fate will definitely get his own movie from this. Uh, I don't think that Pierce Brosnan is done. So I think it'll be a prequel. Uh, I had some similar complaints. I wasn't crazy about the... I mean, I thought the son was doing well, the kid, uh, until he's hiding in the building and he leaves the air vent. I was like, why would you do that? Like, we talked safe. about that so much, man. Like, he, he put on a hood. Like, what's the hood going to do? <laughs> and he, like, crouched behind a bar on his skateboard. Like, that was so stupid. Like, and I think the funny thing is, like, when he was in the vent, he called his mom, and yeah. was he really wasn't whispering. He was like, hey, mom, I'm in this air vent. There's a bunch of bad people around me. Like, oh, gosh, that whole scene was just so stupid. The fact that he ziplined with his skateboard on a clothesline, like, and he, like, power kicked a, a big dude down the stairs. Like, he went flying. Like, it wasn't well, I mean, just. I think that's plausible. I think he's coming in some of this stuff. But at the same time, I think I would. If I was in that position, I'd be too scared to even think about kicking him. Yeah. Like, just take me, just grab me, because it's like, there's no chance. Literally, like, I don't get why he left the vent. He was totally safe. Yeah. But I'm with you there. That whole that whole scene was one of the worst scenes in the movie, in my opinion, uh, him hiding in the vent. But one thing that <laughs> – the, the the fight scenes were really good. Um, the, uh, way, the way Black Adam, you know, killed some of his – victims was awesome um i think i don't know him walking through the walls was one of the best things about 
the movie just because he kept yeah. doing it and he would do the rock smolder every time he walked through a wall. But like he didn't get old. That was what was funny. Like yeah. it wasn't like, oh, he's already done that. Just no, it's funny. No, it was still funny. It was, yeah. Because you think he'd like he wouldn't. He was just like, oh, there's the door. And it right the, to the wall. And the best wall walking scene was the one when they went on that little he on after the bike chase and he went on that little private like island place he ended up in that house and it was just like a wide view shot and he just walks through the brick wall like, <laughs> he, like it was so funny um the bike chase like as much as it was supposed to be action even with his like head like going up against the ground on that bike and him just like not making his expression was hilarious the way yeah. he killed the guy by phasing him into the bike like that was sick that whole scene was done very that well was so cool. yeah um the whole bike chase scene was done very, very well. Um, as for like the plot as a whole, I enjoyed it to an extent. I feel like there were some things like why did why was the villain Satan? I don't understand. Could well, you not necessarily Satan? It's like it's like how his name is like Shazam. It's like the speed of that god and the yeah so whatever like how oh, each letter is something it's like that but for like seven different demons it's like yeah it's like the s is something of satan uh then the a is some other demon and all the way down yeah uh, but yeah i agree i didn't or i kind of liked it in that sense because like it was more of a showcase of his character and his powers than like an actual hero versus villain movie. right um but i mean like you're gonna have that big of a bad guy in there for 10 minutes and I'd have edited, I'd have edited some stuff about the movie, some script. I would have too. Because I was totally fine. Like, I mentioned this a little bit earlier. Like, when they put Black Adam underwater, to me, that was a perfect ending to that movie. Yeah. Um, Black Adam decided that he wasn't safe for the world. He kind of, like, dealt with his past a little bit. And I was fine with it being uh, the Justice Society fighting Black Adam more so than Black Adam fighting you know, the the bad guy whose name I can't remember, but um Sabak. Yeah. A B A C yeah. Sabak. Um I was totally fine with the ending there. And that's kinda like where most of my point like when I deducted points from the movie came from the ending because I just wasn't crazy about the ending. Um but and also what's the name I Hannah Weller, I think is her name. Um oh Amanda Waller. Amanda Willard, yeah. yeah. I hate her so much. She is my least. It's not even. Yeah, Yeah, I don't. She's my least favorite character in the DCEU. Can't Uh, stand her. Part of the Suicide Squad is when the guy in the office gets the golf club and like smacks her across the head. Yeah, it's so satisfying to watch. I know. Thank you, James Gunn, for that. Like my biggest, like the the end credit scene, right? Like literally, like. You avoided prison. Um, congratulations. You are stuck to, I think the name of the city was like Dakari or something like that. Kaudok. Kaudok. Yeah. Kondok. Thanks, Evan. You always know the names of stuff. I never do. That's the fun <laughs> of this show. But um, you're like, prison is now Kaldak. And he basically was like, you can't stop so? me. So? Yeah. He <laughs> yeah, was like, but... so, like, what are you going to do? And that's what, that's literally like what I said, like, when she came in. I literally said, what is she going to do? And then he said, <laughs> you can't stop me and i was like he's right and then she's like i have connections from people from other planets like when did she ever had a connection with superman uh i think they're taking some liberties which is what's it's one of the like uh points that i guess i deduct from dc just in general it's like it started with batman versus superman yeah they throw in these connections and characters without really setting them up like they threw batman in there and they're like oh this is Ben Affleck's new Batman, who's going to yeah. be a little dark and gritty. We're not going to give you an origin story or anything. He's just going to be in there. Uh, they kind of did it with both Suicide Squads. They threw in some yeah. characters. And they're like, oh, yeah, here's these characters. You just got to know the comics to know their Pretty story. Much. So it's like, yeah, Amanda Waller's had, like, she's a, an official of the U.S. government. All she cares about is keeping America safe by any means necessary. So I'm sure she had interaction with Superman uh, because, I mean, he's met with generals in comics and in the Man of Steel, but there was not an on-screen meeting. Yeah. The two, so. that, that's what bothered me. Like, how does she know 
no Superman. Like, yeah. But it is what it is. Uh, I was happy to see Henry Clavel, um, back because I love that man. Um, oh, yeah. and it was still a cool scene once she left the screen. Um, just like we need to talk. Like, oh, yeah. man. imagine that fight scene. That would be incredible. It's, dude, it's, they're hyping it up. Apparently, yeah. it's in it's in the works. It's what The Rock has been wanting to do. Yeah, that's what I. That's that is one of my complaints, though. It's like he seems. Um, and don't even get me wrong. He did well with the character, and I think he'll do good. But it seems like he's trying to build like just a huge Black Adam franchise. It's like there's tons of characters out there that just Black Adam, you know? Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing cer- certain things, but I don't want it to just be like so and so and Black Adam, you know? So and so and Black Adam. Like, it get old eventually. Yeah, it it, it would. You're right. Uh, with all of that being said, we kind of talk about things we liked about the movie, things we didn't like about the movie. Overall, we both said it's a good movie. Um, better than I thought it would be for sure. But do you think that at this point, after we've gotten She Hulk, which is the last thing Marvel's put out? And we've gotten Black Adam. Not comparing Black Adam to She-Hulk, because obviously Black Adam wins by a landslide. <laughs> but the DCEU in its current standing and the MCU in its current standing, which do you think is better at this point? I mean, once again, fans of this show and just friends of mine, uh, they have heard this many times that I love the Batman. Robert Pattinson is Batman. So... So from from there and the Suicide Squad and Black Adam, the last three movies that came out, all for me did really well. Uh, I mean, I mean, the Batman honestly was a movie for me that almost made a, a pure one hundred. It was a ten out of ten, but it didn't quite make a hundred. Um, Suicide Squad was kind of like an eighty-ish. It was fun. It was very bloody. It was kind of a uh, startling a little bit yeah um, but it was it's a fun watch for the characters uh and for seeing amanda waller get smacked in the head with a golf club and the same goes for black adam it's been it's probably in that it might be in the 70s a little bit there was some parts that I wasn't as crazy about uh, but it was still it's a fun watch it's about what i expected from the rock proclaiming a superhero or anti-hero movie uh, I mean, they showcased some new characters. Those were so fun to watch. I like Hawkman for his showcase. He was a jerk. I don't really, he wasn't likable, but he was kind yeah. of cool. Dr. Fate, absolute spotlight. Amazing. He was so cool. Um, you know, I mean, Adam Smasher, he was a guy that grew me. He was, you know. He, he was wasn't in the movie a lot guy. either. Yeah, no. Uh, Cyclone, she was cool, but she's also in that category with Adam Spencer. They're kind of like, here's this new teen character. And we might build a relationship with the two of them, but we're not going to get into that with this one. Right. Um, um, and then also with Marvel, I wasn't super crazy about Moon Knight, but I liked it more than I thought I would. Werewolf by Night was a show stealer. I really enjoyed that. Hated She-Hulk. Oh my gosh. So... I mean, I think the DCEU, it's got a lot to catch up on in terms yeah. of Marvel. They've built a lot, but I think it's in, it's going in the right direction. But I think it's on an equal ground right now. I don't know that okay. it's higher just yet. Uh, that's fair. I will say the Batman is separate from the DCEU because yeah. it's not like in that story line. But after seeing Black Adam, I don't think the DCEU is past Marvel yet. Because Marvel, once like you said, they built like this plat, this like foundation yeah. of a story that everybody loves, and that's been going on for years. And you know, the DCEU also is having problems with you know the Flash and Aquaman too, because they get terrible people to act in their movies. Um, but I do think after what we've seen so far in Phase Four and what we've seen recently in the DCEU that. Right now, I'm putting the MCU over the DCEU currently, but the DCEU is going in the right direction. The MCU is not. Yeah. 
Um, so in three years, four years, it could be a completely different answer. Um, we'll have to see what the future holds for both of these franchises, but I will say I would I was gonna say that I'm mostly excited for more DCEU stuff rather than the MCU, but then I saw the Ant-Man trailer. So <laughs> and I'm just so excited for that movie. But it's closer they saw, than they saw that Black Adam was succeeding and so they're like, all right, drop the trailer. Drop the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Um but I mean, this is the closest I think the DCEU has been to the MCU since both of them started. Um where fans are more enjoying the DCEU more than the MCU because the MCU's been sucking it up. And hopefully it gets better. I hope both of them succeed. I want both of them to be great. But we will just have to see. And with that, I think this pretty much wraps up this episode. I think uh, so. Evan, you got anything you'd like to add? Uh, I mean, just going back to the quick little Black Adam summary, what I liked, what I didn't like. All the action scenes killed it. Uh, I think my favorite was probably like the second half of this introduction. Yeah. It's like going around in slow-mo, like their first use, and he like puts the grenade in the guy's mouth. I was like, no way. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I thought all the action scenes were cool. They they actually played Kanye in the movie, which was interesting. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it went hard. It was a cool song. Yeah. Um, I'd give them credit for their uh, whatever uh, album, I guess. I don't know. The songs yeah, that they the use. Soundtrack? Soundtrack, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Lost the word. Uh, and then I didn't really care for like the last half of the movie. I think it kind of fell off when the sun's going, he's rallying the people. It didn't really look that I agree. good. It kind of looked like a set. Uh, I wasn't crazy about the skeleton, like the the undead i was like that's yeah you know i i get it because it's like the the underworld taking over but i didn't really need to see it um and what i mentioned to you was like he catches the eternium rocket at the very beginning and it like blows yeah. up and it kind of like cuts them doesn't get but they don't really it, yeah. elaborate yeah yeah they just kind of like it'd be so funny if like I don't know what like the material of that bomb is, but the Superman Black Adam fight, Black Adam just has a bunch of kryptonite, and Superman has a it's bunch a of cool. yttrium. <laughs> it's like who lasts the longest? Who, who's gonna last yeah. the longest? That'd be awesome, but not really. Don't do that, DC. Um, <laughs> but yeah, man, super, super, super impressed because I did not have high expectations for this movie. Um, great episode, man. A lot of awesome stuff that is oh. happening. And I'm very, very excited, not only for the future of nerds, but future of Next Topic Media. If you haven't already, Mm -hmm. hit that subscribe button. We are 10 away from 100, which is awesome because we've been doing this for three months. And, and, uh, yeah, a lot of great stuff coming out. Uh, Top 10 video games will be releasing soon. Uh, As always, every week, me and Evan will be here Thursdays at 5 p.m. So we'll see you guys next week.